It is my pleasure to welcome Val Arneson to the broadcast. She is an Indian cooking diva who uses spices to improve just about every food. She began her culinary journey cooking over a barbecue pit in a small village in Punjab, India. At the time, she spoke no English and she had no education. A few interesting and some painful twists and turns later, she now has a master's in education, teaches cooking classes, writes cookbooks, has her own organic spice line, and a television show on Food Network called Spice Goddess. <laughs> Hi, yes. Hi, so indeed you are the spice goddess. I am the spice goddess, yes. <laughs> Who first called you that? Do you remember? My daughter came up with that name. Mm. Yeah, so the production, uh, the Food Network people from New York and Toronto were going back and forth, and then we should call it Bal's Kitchen or Bal's something, and my daughter said to me, she said, Mom, you're the spice goddess. You should be the, you know, so then they're like, oh my God, we love that name. So yes. here we are. A <laughs> well-trained daughter, I must say. And how about your son? I know you have two, right? Yes. He, two children. Yes. So my son is nine and a half and the love of my life. And uh, he cooks with me and he's in my show. We are filming our brand new show. Um, I just signed a deal with the Food Network US directly. Uh, so cooking I channel. I like that. Yeah. So. Signed the contract. Send the contract, money in the bank. Money in the bank. <laughs> there was a day when you didn't have money in the bank, and you mm. your life was pretty tortured. You uh, uh, were in an arranged marriage, mm -hmm. didn't work out. Mm -hmm. Tell me briefly. I was just telling uh, my daughter earlier when we were driving here that my very first job was uh, cleaning as um, as a cleaning person. I was cleaning when I came to Canada, mm -hmm. uh, cleaning people's home for five dollars and thirty five cents. And then I had a job uh, doing the dishes. I was a dishwasher um, in a Chinese restaurant. Um, so, and I was peeling potatoes for, again, $5.35. That was the, you know, really? the minimum wages yeah, 19 years ago. So $5.35. 35 cents an hour. I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, that's great. I, I'll get mm. to make my own money. I think I made two fifty at Brecky's Pizza. Oh my goodness. But I'm a tit <laughs> older than you are, two fifty an hour. <laughs> oh well. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I doubled it, so I was so excited. You see? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. things are looking up. So yes. new show, tell me about it. It's uh, a title yes. yet? Oh, uh, it's no, we don't have a title yet. Um, we had to delay the production because I had injured my arm. I was in Hawaii. I dislocated my shoulder. Um, so, but we're filming right now, so it's going to be um, airing soon. Okay, and um, Spice got is still airing, but going away or um, in reruns. It's it's who a, knows? It's, yeah, who knows? It's <laughs> airing in uh, forty different countries in the world mm. right now, and uh, Spice Goddess. Um, and well, now the brand new show, uh, we're so thrilled. My kids are in it. My kids, uh, are, really? yeah, I cook breakfast for them, lunches for them. So it's really nice. And to yeah. think that you used mm -hmm. to cook uh, over dried buffalo dung. Yes. Right? Yes. In the little village. Uh, mm -hmm. Lots of spicy smells, yeah. I'm sure, but uh, the digs weren't so so <laughs> exciting. You know, I, I have everything expensive and electronic you can imagine in my kitchen, in mm. my studio kitchen. I'm so blessed. I have great sponsors and partners. Um, but I, in a heartbeat, would go back to the village first thing tomorrow morning and cook right on a barbecue pit. That's where my heart is. And I, I did that for the first um, many years of my life growing up. So for me, I don't see any dif difference. I mm. honestly don't see a difference between an expensive gas stove to a barbecue pit. It's just the passion of food. Okay, and mm. the passion of food has been with you a long time. It has been, yeah. Uh, however, now you're you're into healthy and quick food as well. Mm -hmm. Is that an Indian thing, or is it just a modern thing? Well, Indian food is always healthy. You know, mm. spices are very healthy, and mm -hmm. people have gone to India for spices. You know, um, British had gone to India for the search of, of spices. Of course. Um, it's um, authentic Indian village food is always healthy, uh, with no butter, no cream. Lentils. So all, yeah, lentils and beans, beans and fresh and herbs and uh, vegetables right from your own mm -hmm. garden. And uh, butters and creams were used for special occasions, like, you know, weddings and stuff. But um, so my both books, my second book, Cook and Healthy Indian, won the Asian category for Canada by Gourmet World Cookbook Award. Ooh. And my third book comes out uh, in September. This in year. September, title? Uh, it's um, it's working title. But working it's Bell's, title. Bell's Kitchen. Bell's, Bell's Kitchen Sp once again. Bell's Spice Kitchen, or yeah. So simple chickpeas and sweet and sour chickpeas yes. and a few lentils thrown in. And mm -hmm. how about a mini buffalo burger? Yes. Is that Indian? <laughs> buffalo. <laughs> buffalo burger is not Indian, but you know that's the thing with the spices. You know, spices are so beautiful. I I, I even came back from 
from Paris and I came back and I made a mango cardamom creme brulee. So every time I, mm. yeah, mango mm. cardamom creme brulee, mm. can you imagine? I can. And so it's for me, every time, uh, I was filming with even Bobby Flay. Bobby Flay called me, he said, can you judge for one of my shows? And so for me, I, I see food. It's not complete unless there's a hint of uh, coriander in it or cardamom or cumin in it. Of so, course. So that's where my heart is, all spices. So any cuisine I see, my spices go in. Did you have to learn to pair the right spice uh, with the right food? Like uh, coriander goes with meat or not, or yeah. white radishes go with yeah. fennel or not? Yeah. How do you figure that out? You know, because all the spices, like a coriander, for example, has mm -hmm. a really nice a citrusy lemon flavor. So citrusy lemon goes really well with the seafood. Sure. So every time I'm, I'm thinking, so I pair, I look at the ingredient, I taste the ingredient, and I really want to honor the ingredient. I don't want to, you know, that's the problem with sometimes when you go to restaurants, but Indian food, everything tastes the same. Everything, you know, you can't really tell if it's a chicken, or if it's a beef, or it's a lamb, because spices take over. For my food, is about honoring in each ingredient um, uh, the flavors and the textures, mm -hmm. and then have spices enhance it, but not take over it. And not so deep fried, not no. so, I mean, the great breads, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, rotis and parantes and those are all flatbread made right on the on the pan. Sure. Well, yeah. some North American uh, uh, South Asians, as you know, are raised with roti and peanut butter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. How yeah, fabulous not? is that? Why exactly. not? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, uh, more time to rock climb, it said in one of your <laughs> interviews. What yes. would you like more time to do, Belle? Rock climb, really? I love rock climbing. I absolutely, Right now I'm doing grouse grind. Mm -hmm. So I, am, I was in grouse grinding yesterday in my sling. Mm -hmm. um, I love rock climbing. Uh, I do all those things that I wasn't allowed to do when I grew up in India. My mom would get so mad every time she would see me... Um, uh, you know, climbing rooftops and flying kites with my brother, and she would say, come down, that's not what women are supposed to do. You're supposed to come down to the kitchen and cook. So <laughs> so I'm, try I'm, I'm still cooking, but and I'm- And wait on the men. You know, How about yeah. that part? Well, you know, men- Or was she evolved? <laughs> Men are fabulous, and I love them. But uh, I don't. I don't think I like to wait on them. They can mm -hmm. wait on me. But I love cooking. I love cooking. But I in love some cultures, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, still a little patriarchal. It, in, in North America, to hear. In, no kidding. Yeah, you've noticed. It's, <laughs> 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 yes, I did. Yeah, like who's doing what? Uh, yeah. So rock climbing. Mm -hmm. Yes. I call I, it sexist chores. Oh, I like that. Yeah, because we should be able to pound a nail as a female, mm -hmm. right? Or fix a switch or something, yeah. and yeah. they should be able to iron and sew. I say. I am with you. I am a single and mom now. And cook and do dishes and all of that. I'm mm -hmm. a single mom now, and that's what you will see me in my backyard. I have this power grill, and I am fixing my fence. My next door neighbor was complaining. My fence had fallen. I am there with my hammer and nail, and I have this ladder. I climb up the, the rooftop and cleaning my gutters. I do all the things what men do. I'm I even Changed, I even changed my own tire. My car, I had a flat tire. I pulled over. I am there doing it. And I, yeah. I don't Good call for it. you. I took a dead crow off the roof in a bag, of course. But, oh you know, that used to be a guy's <laughs> job. Yes, that's right. Get the rat out of the trap. <laughs> <laughs> you know, take care of the dead crow. Mm -hmm. but no limitations anymore. But diamonds you know? and chocolates, too, I know you like. I love diamonds. I have, I know you're going to laugh. I still do not have my diamond. I've never... Given, I've never been given a diamond by any man in my life. I've never had an really? engagement ring. Can you ever imagine? Wow. Yeah, hint, I hint. <laughs> Is there a man in your life who could give you an engagement ring today? Right now, I don't have any man in my no life. No man. Well, I'm just saying, who needs plenty of fish? We've just done it. Perhaps. <laughs> I know. I look forward to yes. uh, talking about your new show mm -hmm. more. And when you get a title, call me. I will. I will. Okay. And the, the, the cookbook, Working Title, Soon to Be, Bell's. It's Bell's Spice Kitchen. It's coming out um, in uh, September and October. Okay. So I'll be back Great. here. Great. Yeah. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you, too. Bell Arneson, Bell's Quick Health and Healthy Indian. Everyday Indian was the first one, then number three coming up. And remember, you can catch our conversations on YouTube or follow me on Twitter at Fanny Kiefer. There'll be many more intriguing, articulate, entertaining guests to come. Thanks for watching Shaw TV and being here with me today.